If your 300, 400, or 500 series hydrant is leaking from behind the handle, you may be able to resolve the issue by simply tightening the packing nut. To access the packing nut, you will need to remove the handle on your hydrant. To do this, unthread the screw in the center of the handle. A screwdriver or nut driver will be necessary to accomplish this. Pull the handle towards your body and set the handle and screw aside. Once the handle is removed, you should see a white or tan plastic packing nut threaded into the hydrant. Your packing nut may be right hand threaded or left hand threaded. A left hand threaded nut will indicate this with the letter L or with arrows pointing left to tighten and printed on the edge of the packing nut. Left hand threaded packing nuts can be tightened by turning to the left. If there is no indication that the packing nut is left hand threaded, you can assume that it is right hand threaded. Right hand threaded packing nuts can be tightened by turning to the right. Tighten your packing nut until it is snug and then turn one eighth of an inch more. Secure your handle back onto your hydrant by placing the handle over the copper rod and threading the screw tightly into place. Turn on your water to test for leaks. If your hydrant is no longer leaking behind the handle, then you have completed your repair. If water continues to leak from behind the handle after tightening your packing nut, you may need to replace the packing in your hydrant. All wearable parts, including the packing for the 300, 400, and 500 series Mansfield hydrants are included in the wall hydrant repair kit, part number 630-7755. Before replacing the packing or any other parts on the stem of your hydrant, you will need to turn off your interior water source. To replace your packing, you will need to first remove your handle, just as you did before. Unthread the screw and pull the handle toward your body. After removing the handle and screw, unthread the plastic packing nut, turning the opposite direction you did to tighten it, and then remove the stem. The stem can be removed from the hydrant simply by placing the handle onto the copper end of the stem and twisting counterclockwise and then pulling the stem out toward your body. Remove the old graphite packing and packing washer and replace them with the new corresponding parts from the repair kit. There are two different graphite packing pieces in the repair kit. If you have a left hand threaded packing nut, you should use the graphite packing with the larger diameter. If you have a right-handed packing nut, you should use the graphite packing with the smaller diameter. Note that the old graphite packing for the right-hand threaded packing nut will have a concave shape, whereas the new packing will be flat. This is normal. Your new packing will mold to the same concave shape once the repair is complete. Place the new packing washer and graphite packing onto your stem, applying the washer first, followed by the graphite packing. Fryer recommends also replacing the remaining parts on your stem when you are servicing this hydrant. Begin by removing the bib screw and any washers. If you have a small o-ring on the stem end of your hydrant, you should remove this as well. This can be maneuvered easily with a small piece of wire or even a paper clip. Next, you should find the new parts in the repair kit that match your old parts and begin assembling the stem end with these new parts. For a 400 or 500 series hydrant, begin with the O-ring, followed by the BFP washer, cage washer, bib washer, and finally the bib screw. Make sure that the screw is threaded in tightly and that the stem end pops in and out easily. Once all parts have been replaced, you can reassemble the hydrant by reinserting the stem and threading into place. Tighten the new packing nut into place and then screw the handle back onto the hydrant just as you did before. You may now turn your interior water source back on. Your hydrant should function properly after this repair. Visit www.fryer.com backslash where to buy for a list of Fryer products distributors.